You know what's the biggest irony on this channel? It's when you have a bold boy as an avatar but you didn't make any Fallout videos in years. And now I change my avatar and I start talking about Fallout again. Welcome back, my name is Last Snow Meal, and today we're going to talk about Fallout 76 Wastelanders update that finally added NPCs in this game. Keep in mind, they literally had a battle royale mode before actually improving the base game. Now, a lot of people told me to go and reinstall it, because apparently Wastelanders is a step in the right direction. So, I gave it one more chance, and my first impressions after going into the game for so long was... Well, the Atom Store is still crap, but Wastelanders is a step in the right direction. But is it too late though? Because as I was playing through this, I enjoyed it on one side, but on the other something wasn't right. It's the same when you have, you know, bad breath and you use a Tic Tac or Mentos. Well, that amazing feeling lasts for a bit, but that stench returns. I mean, there are still issues in this game that I had from the very first moment I got into it, and some of those technical problems were there, but generally, you know, game did improve a bit, not gonna lie. And keep in mind, after those shaky foundations, improving on this is gonna be extremely difficult. But look, I gotta give them some props. It took them a while, but they're finally doing it. Now, it doesn't mean I forgive and forget what happened with the base Fallout 76, and I don't think I will constantly return to this game, but now with Wastelanders, it gives me some incentive, at least a little bit, to go in and play it for an hour or two. Because before, I didn't even want to look at this game in my launcher. Because the game right now is finally more streamlined than before, because once you get out in the wild, you are greeted with an actual NPCs, and running through the map and following the quest line, then meeting other NPCs was actually fun. Because the first time I got into this game, you go out, there is nothing. There is literally nothing. You just go out and you just have this empty world. And from their perspective, it was supposed to be, you know, People running around, building stuff, you know it's not, you know it's not gonna go that way. Not in multiplayer, and not in this one, not in any multiplayer whatsoever. Just imagine, for example, if World of Warcraft gave you things to, you know, kill, slay, whatever, but with no quests, with no people, and the only way for you to get a quest is to read a note. That's not fun. Honestly, all of these things should have been avoided in the first place, because they should have had the NPCs in the first place since release. Because with this update, if, if, it, if the game came out with this, I would still criticize the game, but not even close to the dumpster fire that was this game when it was released. I think a lot of people would actually... Uh, you know, like this game more if it came out like this, in this state. I mean, look, if you think you're gonna have fun in this game, go for it. Explore everything. I can't see a reason why you wouldn't have fun, but there are still bugs and glitches in this game that might ruin it, so keep that in mind. There's still some things that kind of ruin this experience, but not even as close to the point that it was when it came out. And hopefully, hopefully Bethesda will learn from this and stop employing greedy ass people that make these kind of decisions. To release a game so unfinished, so greedy that it surprised me how much Bethesda decided to ram their franchise into the ground. It, it was insane. And look, I don't want to see them fail, not at all. Bethesda gave me a lot of fun and amazing games to play. Fallout 76 is not one of them. I mean, I would definitely enjoy playing this with friends, I'm gonna try to get some people involved, see if we can play this a bit, but for me, I don't know for, a, you know, how long will I return into this game, I will certainly go back once or twice, you know, maybe to finish the story, do that kind of stuff, you know, there is incentive now, like, even for me, and I was, I was against this game, oh, I was against this game, but now, it gives me that tiny little, you know, incentive to go back and try it out again and see what it has to offer. At least the Wastelanders are fun. I mean, regarding dialogue, regarding how NPCs act, regarding the writing, 
those things, you know, remind you of the previous Fallout games. I mean, they, they make it less boring, definitely, because as you go and do quests, as you put yourself out there, it, it can have fun moments. I mean, as I said, I still experienced FPS drops, uh, the game was stuttering from time to time, and well, monsters can still start spazzing out in air because, well, great programming. So why am I this critical of them? Well, because I know they can do better. They are slowly returning my trust with Wastelanders. Slowly. Keep that in mind. The game is now on Steam as well, finally. You can transfer your game if you have it on Bethesda Launcher. And for some reason the game was already in my library. <laughs> Not sure how I connected, but yeah, it's, it's easy to get it up and running. I mean, even the reviews are actually getting more positive, and it's good, you know, but Hesda has a lot to do to gain my trust, you know, starting with Starfield, I am optimistic but very cautious when it comes to buying or pre-ordering that game. And I believe if they continue to update Fallout 76 like this, and actually not focus their entire strength on monetization and how they're going to get the money out of us, I think, you know, more and, more and more people are gonna start coming back into this. Um, would I recommend this to new players? I don't know. You know, depends on you. But you probably searched online and came mostly on negative opinions, but, you know, they are from the past. And I think, I don't know, 25, 30 bucks is acceptable for this. It's currently 40 bucks on Steam, so if you are not sure, if you don't want to pay you know the full price right now just wait for the sale you won't miss out on anything grand i won't sugarcoat this because i was burned with this game for some decent money and excuse my caution when it comes to recommending it but in the future they will have to do a lot of stuff with their future games that depends on their monetization how they do the in-game store i swear to god if i see an in-game store in a single player game I will never buy another Bethesda game again, just keep that in mind, but uh, yeah, we'll see. So in the end, let's see where this is heading, but as always, I want to hear your thoughts on this as well. Tell me down below, did you play Wastelanders and are you planning on doing it? So yeah, this is LKM signing out, don't forget to subscribe for more gaming news and join our growing community on Discord and Twitter. This is LKM signing out and stay classy everyone, bye bye.